Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. The American is 33, the Russian is 40. The rest is roughly identical. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live! from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 176 pounds. Fighting out of St. Petersburg, Russia, the King! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron! All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, some action cards, and action cards. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge of the striking to carry them to victory. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too.
well done to block that powerful kick to the body. What a tricky head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Seconds now to go in round one. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Look at it, look at it. He is all about that left kick to the body. Nice loop of punch. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night as that landed. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense right, going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, nice jab. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys are evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Great punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. His opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. And he landed the right hand there. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Beautiful strike. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, collar tie. And there comes the separation now. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice kick. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good 
that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. Twenty seconds to go. Beautiful punch. Punch is blocked. Right hook to the body. Ten minutes in the books. Great job last round. Adam Hurt almost fit. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling this round. All right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I mean, you. those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. All right, next round is now fight. underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous fight. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. He blocks the punch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Just misses with the straight right. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, strong uppercut for him there. That'll get his attention. Nice head kick. I can't believe he's still standing after taking another massive head kick. Just misses there with the left. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Nice punch, Lance. Back and forth we go. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, working well off of that jab. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, big punch land. Got the single collar tie. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Another shot lands upstairs. Looping left hand misses the target. Seconds to go. Goes back to that left kick once again. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next oh, round. Ready? High ready? number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, 
misses with that punch. Connects with a right. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Beautiful body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Connects now with the one, two. Educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh! Oh, nice! Nice! Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Punch over the top. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Fifth and final round. Nice strike. Nice job of hiding that head kick. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Right hook to the body. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Sneaky head kick. That's a big strike right there. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Protected. You got to figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. Superman punch now. Whoa! 
series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Ooh, big shot lands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Seconds left. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. The final horn sounds. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Iron! All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly that tonight, and he gets a dominant decision.